guys, it's Luke here and welcome back to another video. You join me today for another modified car feature. It's been a while since I've done one of these, mainly due to my little trip with the 140 over to Germany. But as you can see today, we're joined with a BMW M6, a car which I've never featured before. I've filmed most M cars, to be honest, but an M6 isn't actually one which I've featured before. This car is running pretty much 900 brake horsepower, some serious power from one of these. Um, and so yeah, what we're gonna do in usual fashion, we'll catch up with the owner, Armour, have a walk around the car, then enjoy this lovely day out in this 900 brake M6. Okay, so we're now joined with Armour, the owner. Mate, thank you so much for coming out on this lovely old day today. Um, we've got your M6 here with yep. the bonnet up. Awesome looking thing, mate. It is Cheers, so man. menacing. Thank you very much. So menacing. I'm loving the, the blacked out look with the, with the red touches as well. Um, it's very red in the engine bay. A lot of bolt-ons on this car. Um, so yeah, if it's all right with you, just kind of giving us a bit of a walkthrough. Yeah, wicked. So, I mean, I bought this car completely standard. So everything yeah. that you see on this car has been done by me. Mm -hmm. um, so, it was a complete stock car at 560 horsepower as a factory. Yep. Um, and yeah, we're now at 891 BHP, as you can see it. Nice uh, it's been tuned by velocity tuning and all mm -hmm. the work on the engine pretty much in terms of power upgrades has been done by velocity tuning. Yep. Um, and it was rebuilt by Mr. Vanos. Mm -hmm. um, it says 2021, actually it was at the start of 2022, but it started <laughs> in 21. So. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it's forged then? Completely yeah, forged. so it's fully forged engine. Um, we actually blew the engine up at, at 870 horsepower mm -hmm. um, and then yeah we forged the engine so we're actually good for 1200 horsepower now um, but the aim of the aim of this car is to get it to over a thousand horsepower yeah. without using any extra fuels okay so we're yeah. running meth at the moment yeah um, and obviously 99 fuel and that's yeah. what made the 890 break mm -hmm. um, and I'm not looking to add in any race fuel or any ethanol okay yeah. I'm gonna try and get as much power out of this as I can yeah. with just the um, pump fuel mm. um, yeah so to make it stage three, which is what it's at at the moment, what we've done is we've um, obviously had a tune on it. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got some downpipes on the car, um, which are heat wrapped, made by um, the exhaust company. Yep. We've got there. Um, it's got an operated SSP clutch in there. Uh, we're actually on stock turbos. Okay. I haven't changed yeah. the turbos at all. We've got some Project Gamma intakes, charge coolers, mm -hmm. charge pipes, um, and we've got a JB4 with uh, upgraded meth in there as well. Okay. Yeah. Um, made by Burger Motorsports, mm -hmm. um, and that's pretty much it on the engine bay. Yeah. Obviously, yeah. a few little bits and bobs. We've got um, operated um, spark plugs. Yeah. Uh, but that's just the norm. Um, mm -hmm. Other than that, yeah, that, that, that's literally what gets it to 890 yeah. brake. I'm surprised you're still on the stock turbos for 890 brake. That's yeah, um, really I good. will upgrade the turbos at some point. <laughs> yep. However, I want to max it out completely as far as we can get without them yeah. and then push on that as well. Yeah. Gives the engine a bit of time to run in as well. Mm, yeah, true. Um, yeah. I mean, you're I'm all hoping. Set up for it, aren't you? Yeah, I mean, a couple of the guys that I know with M6s have actually got stage two pure turbos on there. Yeah. And yeah. they without the extra fueling, mm. without race fuel and ethanol, they made about 920 brake. Okay. So yeah. they only got an extra 30 brake more than I have on stock turbos. So this is yeah, the reason yeah. why I'm not fussed about going pure yeah. turbos or anything like that until I can find a way to make more power without using ethanol and without using race fuel. Yeah. Uh, we've actually got some ideas in the pipeline at the moment we could be going and um, possibly in the next couple of weeks we're going to go four port meth at the moment we're two port meth okay yeah plugged into the um charge coolers here yep mm -hmm. um and we're hoping that we might see um over 900 brake maybe 950 brake wow yeah on the stock turbos but we'll see that that's that's not uh, something that we know yet yeah, yeah. something we're going to try um, awesome. but yeah no apart from that i mean obviously the car itself looks so mean yeah <laughs> so, so mean. i mean Obviously, like I said, I bought the car standard. In terms of the looks, I've done everything to the car as yeah, well. So yeah. the most latest mod being, we've upgraded to the LED headlights here from the 2016 plus models. Yep. Uh, we've got carbon everywhere, carbon mm -hmm. front splitter. The roof actually comes as carbon from factory. Yeah. We've got uh, a carbon hood here as well. That looks stunning. Carbon oh. side skirts. Uh, it's yeah. lowered on H&R springs. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got JR11 alloy wheels from Driftworks. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, we've got probably the most aggressive setup that, that anybody's got on an M6. We've got a 12J rear wheel with a 335 tire on there. Yeah, they are beefy. Um, it sits yeah, really and it nice, literally actually. sits bang. I mean, they're custom yeah. made wheels. So yeah, I yeah. did about, probably about 40 hours worth of research on the wheels and yeah. offsets and the J and everything to try and get this right. Yeah. Um, and this is, yeah, it came out perfect. Awesome uh, I'm not running any spaces here, by the way. Yeah, no spaces. It's like literally that. just custom, custom made wheels. That's perfect. Um, perfect. So yeah, carbon roof comes as factory. Uh, we've got carbon rear diffuser, carbon mm -hmm. rear, uh, spoiler, sorry, and rear diffuser. Yeah. Uh, I've just had these exhaust tips made very recently by the exhaust company who gave me the downpipes as well. Okay, yeah. Um, honestly, just the back box and yeah. down pipes and it sounds absolutely unreal mm. um, and these tips look unreal as well yeah uh, they're four inch um obviously the m6 plate which every m6 has these days <laughs> <laughs> mate it's an awesome thing uh, awesome but yeah thing. I, I think that's pretty much it other than yeah. the window tints um yeah, yeah. i've just bit. had remote start fitted on the car as well from nice. um, ga coding retrofits who actually mm -hmm. fitted my headlights as well yeah uh, so big them up as well um, and yeah everything's blacked out so yeah. all the chrome bits the handles the um, mirrors uh, the done. side indicators are all um, blacked out as well wicked um, and that, that's pretty much it really perfect yeah awesome I think if that's everything I think we should get it started yeah go for go. a little drive <laughs> Turbos, mm. it will be over a thousand brake. Yeah. But I want to max out. I want to get all the supporting mods. So when I do get the turbos, it's running. Oh, I want to run at least one thousand, say fifty horsepower, mm. but on standard fuel. Yeah, yeah. You're not I gonna don't want. I might not get it. I don't know. Mm. Um, but I, I don't want to be relying on ethanol or race fuel. Yeah. Just don't want to be relying on that. That's fair enough. Doing, it the, doing how, it the real way. Yeah, the real way, yeah. Because how often are you going to put V-Power, uh, not V-Power, uh, race fuel and ethanol in? It's just like, it's just not for me. Like, yeah. I want to, I don't want to be out there smoking cars at events and then get smoked on the road. Yeah. It's just pointless <laughs> in my eyes. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's get this. Obviously, he's trying to get traction as well, but the weather's luckily all right today, yeah. so... I've turned pops and bangs off completely. Yeah. So even when you're hearing them, that's completely switched off. So that's yeah. just obviously naturally doing that. Uh, we haven't got any pops and bangs on it at all. We've yeah. turned them off because I haven't ever seen it, but pops and bangs are supposed to cause a lot of damage to your engine. Yeah, oh yeah, big time, yeah. Um, so I didn't want to risk it. We've yeah. obviously been a, a new fully forged engine and I think mm. I've been told by my tuner as well. Like if it breaks from pops and bangs, we're not going to cover it, which is fair enough. So, yeah, yeah. Didn't really want to risk it. And to be honest, I'm not a massive fan of pops and bangs anyway. Mm. The torque on this is like what? 1,040? Uh, yeah, so I think it's 1,100 and. I'm sure it's 1,100. It says it on the engine, but I can't remember <laughs> exactly. But yeah, it's 1,120, I think it is. Wow. So it's really talky yeah. and like I said, mate, you've got to know how to drive this car to be able to keep this in a straight line. Yeah. If you give this to somebody who doesn't know this car, it's quite likely to crash it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so um, we've got a few events coming off for the F63 cartel over the yeah. next couple of months as well. Yeah. Um, we've got Terminal Velocity um, on May the 15th. Okay. Um, so we've got about 30 um, S63 cartel cars coming and there'll be other cars coming as well. Yeah, yeah. A couple of um, 800 BHP M's, uh, M140s and mm -hmm. other high power cars as well. Yeah. Uh, so that should be a good event. We've got in June, we've got the BMW show at Santa Pod. So I'll be attending oh, that as well. Um, in June was that? In June. 
I'm sure it's true. Uh, 12th of June. Okay. BMW okay. show at Santa Pod. Yeah, yeah. So S60 Ducato have a stand there as well. We've got 38 cars currently on stand. Yeah. Um, hopefully we'll have about 50 cars there actually. So obviously the turbos is going to happen at some point. Yeah, 100%. You kind of all, I suppose when you, when you do the turbos, you're all ready. Engine's done. Yeah. You've got the mesh. Got I've all the got bolts the clutch. On. Uh, to handle the power, the engine can handle the power. Mm -hmm. The only thing to worry about with these cars, and what I've heard, I've not seen, is the drive shafts can snap. Yeah. But that's only if you're launching it too much. Mm -hmm. um, and also, this, you don't really need to launch. Nah, you don't really need to launch it. To be honest with you, um, where was we seen? We I can put the power down, like mm -hmm. as you've seen there. Um, the other thing is the diff mount can snap as well. Mm -hmm. That's another one that we've seen happen before, but. I'm not worried about them too, to be honest with you. Yeah. Sounds so good. The rasp you get as you lift off. And they've got so much potential, these things. I mean, they're big, yeah. heavy cars, but... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, mate, anyway, thank you so much for, for taking me out on this. First time in an M6, definitely will not be my last. If you end up doing the turbos, <laughs> We'll catch up again. And, yeah, yeah. Uh, now I will hundred percent be doing the turbos. Yeah. It might not be this year. Yeah. Um, I might wait until they blow up. To be honest. Um, <laughs> then they need doing, don't they? Yeah. Um, or I might try and sell these first, and then if yeah. I find a buyer for them, I'll just buy some bigger turbos. Yeah. Uh, yeah Makes yeah, sense to do that. that. Well, mate. No, thanks again. And obviously, you can find the links to both your Instagram and the S63 cartel yeah. link down. Yeah. So in my the Instagram is m6 yeah mm -hmm. underscore blow armor. Uh, so that's my other car registration yeah. as well. Um, and then the S63 Cartel is S63 Cartel UK. Um, so give us both a follow as well. Perfect. But yeah, anyway, that is it for me today. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please do make sure you leave a like and make sure to subscribe for all the adventures still to come.